Manchester City forward Bernardo Silva said only one team came to play football in their 2-2. Premier League draw with Arsenal, who were accused of employing dark arts at Etihad Stadium. But Gunners manager Mikel Arteta claimed it was a miracle his side came so close to victory. After playing the second half with 10 men, John Stone's 98-minute equaliser denied Arsenal what would have been a huge victory over the defending champions. After winger Leandro Trossard was controversially sent off in first half. Injury time, the Gunners had just 12.5% of possession in the second half. City had 28 shots in the second period a number eclipsed only by the momentous Aguero title. Winning second half against QPR in 2012. There was only one team that came to play football, Silva told TNT Sports Brazil. The other came to play to the limits of what was possible to do. And allowed by the referee, unfortunately. I'm glad we always enter the pitch to try to win every match. Arsenal were seconds away from becoming the first away team to win at the Etihad since Brentford. In November 2022 and moved top of the Premier League before Stones snatched a point that instead returned City to the summit. It is a miracle we played 56 minutes at the Etihad with 10 men, said Arteta. It's unbelievable what we have done. Asked if his side would have won had Trossard stayed on the pitch, Arteta said, I have no clue. We would have tried for sure. But what I can tell you is 99 out of 100 times if you play 56 minutes against this team with 10. Men, you're going to lose and you're going to lose by a lot of goals. That Arsenal conceded so late given fourth official Andy Madley had signaled there would be. Seven minutes of stoppage time just added to Arteta's frustration. He said he was happy to let others draw their own conclusions on Trossard's red card. The incident came just a week after Gunners midfielder Declan Rice served a one-match ban for getting a second yellow for kicking the ball away. Trossard, having already been booked, barged Silva in the back, then kicked the ball away. The Premier League confirmed he was shown a second yellow for the latter offence by referee Michael Oliver.